Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'm going to start off my card with a little bit of coloring. I normally don't leave this part in, but this card's going to come together really, really fast. So I thought I don't often show coloring on my channel and um, I want to mix it up a little bit. So this time I'll leave it in. I've got this huge stamp set from uh, Stampers Anonymous. It's by uh, Diane Reevely of Dilutions, and it is a seven by uh, seven by eight, I guess, stamp. And this is a red rubber stamp, so really, really good quality. Um, it's already got the foam mounting, and it's really cute. <laughs> it has all sorts of Alice in Wonderland vibes to it with this sort of Cheshire cat toadstool. The collection is actually called Toadstool Tales. And um, the coloring I'm going to do is super simple. I'm using my Ohuhu markers in some very hot pink colors. And I'm going to start with um, just very simple dark on the outer edges and then just work my way lighter and lighter as I get towards the center and that's pretty much very basic and very simple but I think for small images like this it's really all I'm going for I don't really I don't really feel like I need to go for any texture or anything like that so I'm coloring it pretty solid so I thought um I didn't actually know what color to color in the sort of underside of the mushroom cap. So I just kept it a very light pink. I guess that's what happens when you go with something like a little bit more abstract. You can make up anything you want, but also you don't have like a real world <laughs> reference to uh, to draw from. And I'll do the uh, mushroom stock in the exact same pink colors. So you can see that when I first put down that darkest color, it's so dark, it's it's almost black. But as I color over it with uh, my next lightest color, you can see that it's it's faded quite a bit. It's lightened quite a bit. And that's what will happen with alcohol markers because it's a transparent medium. And as you color it, it will blend with the colors underneath it that you've already that you've you're basically coloring over. And so it has the effect of um, lighter colors just having more of that, you know, blending solution, um, the clear blending solution that's normally your zero brush. It's got more of that in, in it. And so it will have the tendency of sort of bleaching out your colors, which is what makes it kind of... Uh, result in a smoother blend. Now for characters, I like to punch up the eyes a little bit by going over the eyes and the nose with a black glaze pen. It has the effect of giving it this like shiny finish and it also, it ends up being like a, a touch raised, like just a little bit raised because it's, it's as the pen uh, would suggest, it's a glaze that is over top of the paper. Once that's had a chance to dry, then I just go back in with a white gel pen and add the little dot of the eyes that the stamp initially had. And that just helps when you're looking at it in, in real life, it helps the eyes really um, kind of look a little bit more uh, alive because it's it's more shiny. Now this set is sold at um, Spellbinders and it does come included with the coordinating dies. And so I'm going to use the dies to cut these out. And I'm not sure why, because it has never happened before, but my, my um, scotch removable tape, it actually tore my cardstock a little bit. And so you can kind of see on that right hand edge, see how the black stripes at the ends of it, there's a little bit of white. That's where it tore. So it's really surprising. Um, but it isn't, uh, it's not, uh, anything we can't fix. <laughs> so all I've done is I've taken a black fine tip marker and I'm just coloring in those black stripes. And in fact, 
I'm almost glad that that happened because once I colored this in, the black is really like very, very black, black. <laughs> and so um, I didn't realize that I thought I stamped the image pretty well and it was was fairly dark. But once I started to color in these stripes with my fine tip marker, I realized, wow, that wasn't really jet black after all. So this ended up making it look a little bit nicer overall, but I'm still not I'm still a little bit surprised as to why it tore in the first place. Um, but no problem, we've recovered. Now, here's what the stamps look like. They are red rubber, they are foam mounted, but this stamp, oh my gosh, look at how large this <laughs> this stamp is of the Toadstool House. So my card is A2. This is the size of the panel that I have here. And you can't fit this whole stamp onto an A2. So I am going to selectively stamp just a portion of it onto this panel here. And um, actually, this might this might actually be my card base itself, not not even a panel. But I uh, because this is so big, what I did was I put the um, stamp onto my glass mat and put the card panel on top of it and sort of just sort of brayered it in to to try to get an even stamped impression. So I think that that ended up being easier for me anyhow than trying to put that into a stamp positioning tool and um and then stamping it the the normal way. Um, the challenge though, if you stamp the way that I did, the challenge is that you're really not going to be able to reposition this. So, um, so keep that in mind. But I, with red rubber stamps and VersaFine Onyx Black ink, I really feel like that's a that's a pretty strong combination, and I felt really confident, even though I'd never <laughs> stamped um, that Told Stole House image before. Turned out great. So, um, so it just depends on what you have, what you feel comfortable with. It's only paper at the end of the day. So if it doesn't stamp perfectly, you can always flip to the back and, and stamp it again. So before I actually, um, glue everything, glue this panel down onto my card, I do want to add a sentiment to this. So I did cheat a little bit. I pulled this sentiment from a different um, stamp set and it, it just worked out perfectly because it's a, it's a quote from the Cheshire Cat. It says, every adventure um, requires a first step. So really, really great. Um, uh, sort of encouragement card. So I love that. And I have this cut so that I can mat a border of black all the way around. And I kind of feel like this by itself is, is kind of nice as a card. I could, I could keep it there, end it there, and that would be really cute. But I'm going to bring in my hot pink, um, cat told stool here and this is going to be like a really nice striking element. But on top of that, I will kick it up another notch and add a little action wobbler. The action wobblers that I have, they're, they're small. They're mini action wobblers from Pear Blossom Press and really easy to, um, to use these. You just peel off the, um, adhesive liner. Once it gets attached to whatever it is you want to wobble. And then the other side gets attached to your card. And that's it. So I'll just add a little bit of white gel pen detail. And that's going to pretty much wrap up my card. So this is a very whimsical, fun card. I love having that really strong pop-up color. And look at the um, all the detail of that Told Stool House. It's so, so fun. And like to think that's just a portion of <laughs> the full image. So there's a close up of my kitty cat and how his head wobbles. Really, really adorable. Um, 
action wobblers are so fun, a really easy way to kind of add a little interactive element to your cards. Thanks for checking out my video today. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.